Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 33 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. If you haven't watched the previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description. We completed our payment page in the last video, in this video we can integrate Paytm payment gateway to receive payments. First we need to create Paytm sandbox credentials to develop and test payment gateway. Search Paytm payment gateway and open Paytm business page. Click generate sandbox account. Fill your details. This will create merchant details to test Paytm integration and dashboard login details. Now open Paytm developers link. You can read the documentation for all platform integration. In server side utilities for web, click ASP.NET. Click download zip, and extract. Here the development kit provides all .NET versions. To find our .NET version simply follow the steps. So our framework version is 4.5. Now we want to add Paytm DLL as a reference in our project. Add Paytm DLL from the download location and click OK. Now import Paytm namespace to payment page. Now go to Paytm GitHub page. Copy the code snippets for generating checksum. We are planning to integrate more payment gateways, so for easy coding let's create a function for Paytm. Paste the code. Now replace all the values with the respective values provided by Paytm at the time of registration. You will receive all the details to the registered email address. Replace MID and merchant key. Channel ID industry type ID website values are same for everyone. Now create our function parameters to pass values to the function. Now call this function after successful database operation. Now pass each parameters to the function. Email and mobile number are customer mobile number. In the last video for emails address we stored it in a session variable, so fetch that value. For mobile number we need to add another text box to get customer mobile number. Also insert mobile number to the DB. So we need some tweaks to our code. Add mobile number text box and validations.
then truncate table purchase. Now alter table with mobile number. Add code to insert mobile number. Now test and make sure everything works fine. Now back to payment gateway. Pass mobile number. Pass user ID as customer ID. Pass purchase ID as order ID. Now pass total paid hidden field as transaction amount. This price is where the user need to pay. Now call back URL is merchant will get response on this URL if this parameter is sent in transaction request. This callback URL will get priority over the static callback URL configured during the time of integration. Now we passed all data to the function. Now again go to getup page. Paste staging URL with order ID, this URL will change after we get production credential. Next paste the following code snippet to make a form post. This will redirect the request to payment gateway. Now run the project. Fill the details. Click pay button. Success. You are now integrated Paytm payment gateway. In the email we also receive test wallet. Enter the details and make some payments. That's it guys, now in the next tutorial we can handle the payment response by developing our response URL. I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot, thank you.